In last week's episode, you would have seen me drive all the way to South Australia and back to pick up a job lot of car parts for my 107 station wagon project. After a long haul home, we unpacked those parts and today we're going to have a look at what we've got. So going through this box, there's a bit of a, a few bits of a um, Solex carby there, prop shaft, uh, a few little lights and things. Um, that's off a of series one. Bits and pieces, uh, some Wiper parts, a few reflectors, and grab handle. What else? There's a bit of a pork pie light. They're kind of sought after. Lucas horn, nice Lucas horn there if it's a goer. A wing mirror, a whole uh, range of bits and pieces in that little box. There's a second box of goodies. There's some great stuff in there. Look at that, a uh, nice instructional manual, Land Rover badge. A good steering wheel which I need, might need full restoration that one, but these little beauties, two pork pie lights, um, a couple of air breather caps and things, um, lots of different light pieces, a bit more um, wiper stuff, there's a few new old stock bits and pieces here, an interior lamp, um, that's a really nice find because I do need one of those, um, doesn't look it but that's new old stock, um, just a yoke assembly. Bits and pieces. I found a bunch of different knobs. This looks like a series, uh, an 80 inch part. Whoops, new old stuff, or slightly used. Light switch or an indicator switch or something out of an 80. Some old fuel pumps, dissies. I think that's the um, cover plate for the bottom of a transfer case. Um, and there's the main drive from the transfer case, I think, or the gearbox, one of the two. Um, other bits and pieces. A few uh, brake slaves and things. A whole bunch of bolts. I don't know if they're, if they're all Land Rover or not, but I think they might be because they're all with this Land Rover stuff. Anyway, um, there's some spark plug contacts. Um, these are a good find. They're the two door handles. I was missing those, but now I've got a set. Um, the gear lever. They often break. Anyway, so that's a good box of bits and pieces in there. Now this is in a box of seals and things, so uh, that can go straight in George. I was just about to order a set to go on there. Anyway, we now have a set. Might not look like much, but these little locker latches and all these little bits, they all add up when you're trying to um, do a resto. You know, these things are about $12, $13. Um, you know, they're about $30 or $40 if you've got to buy them, so it adds up pretty quick. Nice surviving little glass fuel bowl there. That's a good find. And, uh, Nice revision mirror. Oh! Here's a set of uh, left and right um, rear station wagon doors for a Series 1 107 station wagon. Rare as rock and horse poop if you're going to find them in the wild. Um, I think that one is an original one by the look of it. This one might be a rebuild. Or well, maybe not. Spent some time in a car by the look of it. Anyway. They're great things to have as spares because you just cannot buy them. There's a set of front door skins that match those uh, other 107 ones. Um, same colour. These have originally been the same colour as George. Both of those. That grey, Battleship grey or whatever Land Rover call it. So a good flat set of skins. Set of good seat box covers. Hatches, whatever you call them. That one's missing the latch, but anyway, we can find one of those. We've got one of those down the bottom. It's a good batch of doors. This looks like a pair, left and right. There's two odd doors. And then there's that one there. The Kermit the Frog one. This uh, matches the patina of what, one I've got down the bottom, actually. 
Nice set of uh, door tops, actually two two sets, his and hers, and um, they're quite nice door tops, no brakes, not bent, really good finds. This one even has the glass in the front still, it survived, which is remarkable. This one needs new glass, but uh, you know, they're good sets, nice gallon still on it. Very nice tidy bonnet, 107 bonnet, been re-sprayed, so it's a straight one, with the spare wheel bits mostly there. It's a good tank, seems to be uh, rust free, uh, which is good because I need one. Uh, I've got another one over there, just there, which matches up quite nicely. But um, this car, the 107 wagon, had two tanks, so there we go, we've got two again. Bit of dust in there, but it doesn't look rusty. That's quite a rare find, a Series 1 tank that's not rusted out. I need to clean, I think, but... We've got this collection of uh, top end bits. You've got the head, tappet cover. The covers, uh, two manifolds, inlet and outlet manifold. Got a couple of drive shafts here. Uh, they seem to be in quite good nick. It's still got numbers on them, they might be new old stock. Um, have a look there, got a brand new transfer case. I guess it's a reproduction. Um, but anyway, it is brand new, hasn't been used. Bell housing. Yeah, uh, quite a nice oil filter there. Uh, air filter rather, oily air filter, whatever you call it. Um, the mount for that, the air filter battery mount, that's the uh, filler for that. Tank there, aftermarket starter motor, crank handle. Also got this curious little air compressor, little belt driven air compressor. Curious kind of thing, looks like it's been mounted. Swing up and out of the way. Anyway, so there's a few more bits. That's quite a nice uh, radiator. Seems to be in reasonably good condition. The fins aren't too mucked about. Could have used that for George. <laughs> anyway, too late. As we get to the bottom of the pile, there's this solid door. They're not that common in Australia. I think it might be a Series 2 or something. I'm not sure. Normally it's the cat flap doors. I've never seen one like this before. It might even be a home-built jobby. But it kind of looks decidedly Land Rover-ish or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, I haven't got a use for that one. But I do have a use for the seven rims. Uh... Obviously that tyre needs a bit of air. That one's pretty good. Anyway, and that was the load. So as you can see, that's a great haul of parts. Just want to say a big thank you to Shane that um, sold me those parts down there in uh, South Australia. Good on you, Shane. I really do appreciate you parting with the parts. Um, a quick shout out to Trent Drummond who signed on this week as a patron. Thanks Trent, we appreciate your financial support. Um, that helps make the channel possible. And a big thanks to all the other patrons as well. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And uh, if you haven't hit the like button, please hit the thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you want, we don't care either way. Please make comments down the bottom, we love to hear from you. So that's it for the week folks. Next video will be that station wagon walk around. Um, it's a fantastic car, so tune in to have a look at that. Until next week, take care of yourselves and look after each other, folks. See you later.